हाई गाइज इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू रेगुलेशन ऑफ ग्लाइकोलिसिस ग्लाइकोलिसिस का रेगुलेशन एक बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है फॉर द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ ऑफ आवर गेट बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एग्जाम और फॉर आर सेमिस्टर्स एग्जाम्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर आई हैव ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ ग्लाइकोलिसिस so I hope now you all understood about the process of glycolysis. in this video I am only teach you the regulation of glycolysis. so there are mainly three steps which regulate the process of glycolysis. the three enzymes are hexokinase, phosphofructokinase that is also known as PFK1 and the last enzyme is pyruvate kinase. so we start from our first regulation that is blue our substrate glucose is converted into glucose 6 phosphate by the help of enzyme hexokinase and in this reaction atp is phosphorylated to adp atp is converted into adp and magnesium ion act as a cofactor this is our first first step which regulate the process of glycolysis and our third step which is highly exergonic so all these three reactions are irreversible essentially irreversible and play a key role in the regulation of glycolysis uh, the fructose 6 phosphate is converted into fructose 1 6 bisphosphate and this reaction is converted and this reaction is catalyzed by enzyme phosphofructokinase that is PFK1. Don't be confused there are two PFK that is PFK1 and PFK2 and this reaction is catalyzed by PFK1. In this reaction also ATP is converted into ADP and the same magnesium ion act as a cofactor. And the last enzyme and the last step that is our 10th step in which phosphoenol pyruvate is converted into pyruvate this reaction is catalyzed by enzyme pyruvate kinase and in this step ADP is converted into ATP that is ATP is generated and, mag and potassium ion act as a cofactor beside potassium ion magnesium ion, magnesium ion also used in as a cofactor in some microorganisms. So let's start conversion of glucose into glucose 6-phosphate with the help of enzyme hexokinase. In this video I am, I am explaining only the first regulatory step of glycolysis and all other two regulatory steps are explained in my further next video. So start hexokinase. Hexokinase there are four isogynes of hexokinase that is hexokinase 1, hexokinase 2, hexokinase 3 and hexokinase 4. So now the question arises what is isogyne? Isogyne kya hai? Isogynes are the enzymes which perform the same function but encoded by different genes. So there are three isogynes hexokinase, hexokinase 1, 2, 3 and 4. All these hexokinase that is 1, 2, 3, 4 perform the same function but all these four enzymes are encoded by four different types of gene that me that is isogyne. So hexokinase is of four type all these hexokinase catalyze the uh, first step of glycolysis that is first regulation of glycolysis. So now we have hexokinase 1, 2, 3 and 4. Um, how hexokinase 4 is different from other 3 isogynes? There are 4 type of isogynes but hexokinase 1, 2 and 3 perform almost similar function. Uh, similar function in the, in the sense hexokinase 4 also performs similar function but hexokinase 4 is slightly different than other 3 isogynes. So how hexokinase 4 is different than other 3 isogynes? Hexokinase 4 is also called glucokinase. Hexokinase 4 is also called glucokinase 
and in this hexokinase all other three hexokinase one two three falls now i am going to discuss how hexokinase 4 is different than other three hexokinase hexokinase 4 is found in liver hexokinase 4 is found in liver whereas hexokinase all three hexokinase is found in every tissues like muscles brain etc hexokinase 4 is specific is only specific for glucose that's why it is also known as glucokinase it is only specific for glucose whereas hexokinase is specific for all type of hexoses hexokinase convert all type of hexoses into look act on all type of hexoses and uh, hexokinase 4 that is glucokinase have relatively less affinity for glucose hexokinase 4 ke paas glucose ke liye affinity kam hoti hai jabki hexokinase ke paas affinity zyada hoti hai glucose ke liye hexokinase 4 matlab glucokinase jo hota hai wo responsible hota hai glucose ke distribution ke liye in other tissues ye डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन भी करता है ग्लूकोज का और जबकि हेग्जोकाइनेज जो होता है वो केवल रिस्पॉन्सिबल होता है एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन के लिए मतलब रिस्पॉन्सिबल ओनली फॉर ग्लाइकोलिस एंड हेग्जोकाइनेज फॉर ग्लूकोकाइनेज इज नॉट इनहिबिटेड बाय इट्स रिएक्शन प्रोडक्ट बट इनहिबिटेड बाय ग्लूकोकाइनेज रेगुलेटरी प्रोटीन नाउ वॉट इज द मीन ऑफ इनहिबिटेड बाय रिएक्शन प्रोडक्ट इट मीन्स feedback inhibition feedback inhibition i will explain you about feedback inhibition whereas hexokinase is inhibited by glucose 6 phosphate that is its reaction product i am going to explain you what is feedback inhibition in the first regulatory step of glycolysis glucose is converted into glucose 6 phosphate it is its reaction product if the concentration of glucose 6 phosphate increases the concentration of glucose 6 phosphate increases then this reaction product inhibit this enzyme that is hexokinase ye isko inhibit karega कि ये ग्लूकोज जो है वो ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट में कन्वर्ट ना हो ताकि ग्लाइकोलिसिस ना हो पाए ताकि ग्लाइकोलिसिस ना हो पाए वो उसको इनहिबिट करेगा हेग्जोकाइनेस को वो इनहिबिट कर देगा तो इसी को हम कहते हैं फीडबैक इनहिबिशन जो प्रोडक्ट बना वही इनहिबिट कर दे अपने एंजाइम को कि ग्लाइकोलिसिस फर्दर ना हो पाए यही हमारा फीडबैक इनिबिशन है और हेग्जोकाइनेज फोर ग्लूकोकाइनेज फीडबैक इनिबिशन शो नहीं करता है और हमारा हेग्जोकाइनेज जो है वो फीडबैक इनिबिशन शो करता है दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द फर्स्ट रेगुलेटरी स्टेप ऑफ ग्लाइकोलिसिस एंड इन माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द थर्ड द सेकेंड एंड थर्ड रेगुलेटरी स्टेप ऑफ ग्लाइकोलिसिस थैंक यू